Hey gang, and welcome to another edition of the Sermon Net. I'm Ian Allen, and it's a pleasure once again to join you in your YouTube living room. This past week, we got to celebrate New Year's. New beginnings for everybody. Being able to turn the new leaf, possibly become a whole new you. To do that, we make New Year's resolutions. Good, bad, ugly. There's a whole lot of interesting ones. I went online just to see what the top 10 were. And on Time Magazine's website, I found it. Here they are. Number one, lose weight, get fit. Yeah. Understandable. Quit smoking. Mm -hmm. That's a good one. Learn something new. That benefits greatly. Eat healthier diet. I could learn from that myself. <laughs> Get out of debt. Save money. I think we can all relate with that one. Spend more time with family and invest more in family. Mm -hmm. Travel to new places. Sounds like fun. Be less stressed. Volunteer. Mm -hmm. Number 10, drink less or quit drinking altogether. All great things to help us become that new and improved us that we want. Only, there's a little twist to that. You see, I left out a word. They are the top 10 resolutions, but they're the top 10 broken resolutions. We as people try and make ourselves new. We try and be that new person in our making. But we fail. No matter what we try. But God, on the other hand, can make us new. In, way, in a way that we can only imagine. And He shows us exactly in His Word how He makes us new. If you will turn with me to 2 Corinthians 5... Verses 16 through 21. If you need time to find this, the passage, be my guest. Go ahead and pause the video. Take as much to take the time you need. And I look forward to sharing God's word with you. And I pray He blesses you through it. So from now on, we regard no one from a worldly point of view. Though we once regarded Christ in this way, we do so no longer. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has gone and the new has come. All this is from God, who reconciled us to himself through Christ, and gave us the ministry of reconciliation, that God was reconciling the world to himself in Christ, not counting men's sin against them, and he has committed to us the message of reconciliation. We are therefore Christ's ambassadors. As though God were making his appeal through us, we employ you on Christ's behalf. Be reconciled to God. God made him who had no sin to be sin for us, so that in him we might become the righteousness of God. God makes us new. Through Jesus Christ. By coming into relationship with him. He makes us a whole new creation. It's something that happens over time. It's not our way of thinking. We always think now. God thinks more over time. He brings it to fruition. In the time that we go to be home. Go home with him. Or when he returns. And he will make the whole world new. Everything will be as he would be in the Garden of Eden. Yet, even as Christians, we try and still do things ourselves, even though we know God is the one who needs to be in control of things. And other people try and help make us new, and make us in their image too. Everybody's trying to redesign what God created, but God's the designer. He's the only one who can make us new. So guys, the challenge this week is simple. Save yourselves a headache, save God a headache, and listen to Him. God is the one who can change you and make you new. The world can be made new, but it starts with one person at a time, and it only happens through the power of Jesus Christ, God the Father and Holy Spirit. 
I pray he truly make you new this day and shows you the wonders of walking with him. Well, guys, it's been great getting to hang out with you and dive in God's word. No, I love you, and I pray your week goes well. Shalom. Bye, guys.